Hello guys, I just tried to show you how I solved this situation uh, about this ransomware uh, on my QNAP NAS. So at first be sure that you have activated the SSH or the Telnet. You, uh, this is in Czech, so I hope you can translate it <laughs> some way. Anyway, this should be uh, same in any language. You click here when you logged in on your uh, NAS and write down here SSH. You will see this. I'm sorry for the Czech language. And here you have to have everything checked on. You should remember these numbers and your IP address, your local IP address. Now I, you can use any of these type of connections uh, with, uh, for example, Putty. Uh, that's a free software you can get uh, anywhere. Uh, I will run it now. So now I'm running the Putty. Uh, so here you will uh, put the uh, IP address of your of your NAS. Here you will use the port which uh, you choose. Uh, it could be one of them. I would prefer this one. I hope it will work. Sometimes it doesn't. So I will use 13.13.1, which is for Telnet. So therefore I have to switch here to Telnet. If I would choose this one port, which is for SFTP, I would need to check it here. I guess, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not so good. So uh, I'm clicking open. And it does nothing. I don't know why. This sometimes happens. So, okay, I will use another method. Never mind. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I will use the SSH for 22. Uh, so, uh, once again. So now I will try this one port number, which is for SSH. Therefore, I have uh, choose, chosen here the SSH. Once again, open. Okay, now it works. Now you have to put in the same uh, login and uh, password, which are you using to log in into your NAS admin, uh, sorry, NAS administration. So for me, it's admin. And now warning, uh, after you will press enter, any, uh, any key you will press now won't be shown. So uh, you have to write it precisely because you cannot see what are you typing even that you are typing so let's do it as you can see even i'm typing on the keyboard nothing is seen here uh, but it uh, it actually accepts your your key presses so do not worry and press enter after you uh, after you uh, type down the correct password you will get this screen here this is some kind of management that you don't actually need. Here, use this option. This is Q. So write down here the Q and press enter. And confirm it that you want to get out of this. Yes. And now you can here uh, put down the uh, uh, commands. Uh, now uh, the commands, I found it just right here. Uh, Valiant Tor, this is my saver. I love you. So you will get all of this. Click right, right button and choose copy and just paste it to the window by clicking right button here. Okay, you just click right button. You didn't press press uh, Control V or paste. You just Paste here is clicking on right button on mouse. Okay, as you can see, it's here. It's only one long line. You don't have to um, separate it. Uh, just uh, past it as you can see. So once again, you have to choose it, click right button, choose copy, and then you go here, do not uh, choose paste just click right button here nothing else it will paste here and you don't have to press any control V uh, as you are used to okay now just press enter that's all now this uh, this file this 
uh, 7z.log has been uh, discovered. Until now it was invisible. So now you should go to uh, this directory mnt hd root slash 7z.log and find this uh, find this uh, file. Uh, you can use it by putty. Uh, I actually do, do not like it. I am preferring the total commander, uh, which is here. Uh, I have a plugin here for um, connecting to SFTP, uh, and I already have a connection here. Uh, if you are using this, you have to at first. Uh, install the, sec the SFTP plugin uh, and uh, create a new connection here. Uh, you have to use um, a plugin uh, to install it. It's separately. It has to be separate, but it's for free. I think you can find it uh, very easily. Then you have to choose a new connection by pressing F7. Here you can say uh, I, I already have here the NAS, so I will use NS8, NAS2. Now again, you are uh, putting here the same AP local address that you already um, put uh, on the putty. Again, your login still the same as before. And OK, that's all you need. Now it's been created here. You just double click. Yes, that's OK. It's always when you're trying to connect for first time. And now you are here in the root directory of your NAS. And now you will have to go to MNT HDA root. So let's go MNT HDA root. Voila. And here is 7z lock. Usually if you are using this total commander, you can just press F3 when you have a cursor on it and it will show up. Uh, if you uh, don't have any privileges to open it, so at first just copy it to somewhere to your C drive, to your local computer and open it from here. Okay. Anyway, uh, there are uh, definitely there are many ways how to get to this file, uh, how to use this way. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is maybe not too uh, comfortable for you if you're using this total commander with the plugin, but you can choose uh, any other uh, any other uh, app which uh, can connect to SFTP, okay? SFTP, that's the point. Uh, after you do this, you have to uh, connect to it using SFTP uh, by um, by typing the IP address and uh, and your admin login and admin password. And then you will see this directory structure as I've seen here. And you uh, need to get uh, to this path. Okay, so after you get here, uh, you will see this. Uh, by the way, if you wouldn't do this before, you will not see this file. It's hidden some kind of, I don't know, I don't understand it so deeply. So uh, if you will skip this step, you will not see the file here. This is necessary step. Okay, so now we have this file uh, and you can copy it to your local drive and open it. And here you can see a uh, rest of the lock, uh, which uh, which shows up the parameters of the 7z coder even with the password. And the password is always here. As you can see, it begins with uh, P. And what's after P is just the password. So this is the password. As you can see, still the same. This is the password. Okay. Uh, beware to not to. Um, uh, mark uh, any any uh, spaces uh, like here, uh, just uh, only the text, okay? And uh, avoid uh, by marking the P2. So this is the password you are looking for. You have to skip this uh, P, which means the parameter of password, okay? So uh, skip it and use only this. And that's all. Uh, that's all you need to decode. Then, some, of course, you have to have installed uh, the 7z app. And uh, I already made an application or a batch file uh, which you can run uh, from Windows. It looks like this. It maybe might help you. 
um, it's this. Uh, this uh, I've uh, I made today. Um, this is for um, recursive um, extracting of all 7z files using this uh, using this um, 7z 7 exe and this password. Uh, here you can type on uh, which uh, where do you want to start. So I already uh, mount my uh, drive. Uh, this this uh, X is my mounted network drive from the NAS. I uh, choose one of the subdirectories, uh, which is now FUS, and uh, this is uh, so you can edit this um, for your directory, where uh, which contains these 7 z fact five files, and then uh, write this down, where this is the password. So actually, you are using the same parameter as the hacker did. So you are using this. As you can see, it's absolutely same here. You have to put it in here, in this line. Uh, so there must be a space and this one parameter with the password you found here. Uh, and this will do um, that it will uh, find any 7z file in FUS directory on this drive, including subdirectories. Uh, it will extract it to the same directory where the origin 7z file is found and it will after this delete the previous original 7z file. So uh, this is the way how we can uh, do it by one click. Uh, I already did it and it works, it, <laughs> it really takes some time. Uh, so uh, here you can see it's already working. Uh, this is how it looks. Yeah, so this is uh, how uh, one file each by each is uh, one by one is um, uh, decompressing from 7z to the uh, origin uh, state. So I hope it, it will help you. Uh, thank you and bye.